In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create and use the exploration report in Google Analytics 4. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I release new video each and every week. Now, in order to create the exploration report, click on this analysis drop down menu. Click on analysis hub. Now you're going to see the various analysis templates. Select the blank template. The screen that you see is divided into three columns, the variables column, tab settings, exploration. In the context of analysis, segments, dimensions, and metrics are called variables. And you can configure all these variables through this variables panel. If you want to change the name of your report, you can do it from here. If you want to change the date range, then you can do it from this date range drop down menu. If you want to apply an existing segment, you can apply it from here. Just click on these three dots and then click on apply. If you want to edit a segment, you click on this edit link. If you want to delete it, then you click on this delete button. If you want to create a new segment, then you click on this plus button. Now let's see what this segment is made up of. Now you are looking at the definition of the US segment, which uses a country ID dimension exactly matches US. Let's see what direct traffic segment is made up of. So this segment is defined by using a dimension called user acquired campaign source contains direct. So by checking the definition of these segments, you will get an idea of how to create a new segment for your report. Just like segments, you can also create a new dimension by clicking on this plus button. Or if you want to apply an existing dimension, then you can either drag and drop it from here to either under the rows section or the column section. You can also double click on a dimension name to automatically apply it under the rows section. Now, if you want your dimension to appear as a row in your table, then you will drag and drop this dimension under the rows section. And if you want your dimension to appear as a column, then you will drag and drop this dimension under the column section. If you want to delete a dimension, then you just click on this cross button. And just like dimensions, you can also add a new metric by clicking on this plus button. If you want to apply an existing metric to your table, then you drag and drop this metric from here under the values section. Or you can just double click on this metric name and apply it to your report. Now this tab setting panel is used to change the setting of your tab. Your tab is this exploration one. If you want to create a new tab, then you click on this plus button. Then you select your analysis technique. Let's select cohort analysis. Now you will see a new cohort analysis report. If you want to create third tab for your report, then click on this plus button again. Select your analysis technique. Let's select path analysis. Now you will see the path analysis report. If you want to create a duplicate of this tab, then click on this drop down menu and click on duplicate. This will create a duplicate of your report. If you want to delete this duplicate, then again click on this drop down menu and click delete. If you want to switch back to another tab of your report, then hover your mouse over the tab and then click on it. So that's how you can switch back and forth between various tabs in your report. Now let's create a new exploration report. Let's name this report my first exploration report. Let's change the date range to the last 30 days. Let's apply a dimension to this report called region. Now if you look at this dimension list, you won't find the region dimension. So we have to create this new dimension. Click on this plus button, search for your dimension, select it, click on apply button. 
Now you can see this region dimension here. But this dimension is still not applied to our report. For that we will have to drag this dimension and drop it under the rows section. Now you can see our new dimension is applied as a row. If you want your dimension to appear as a column in your report then you drag and drop this dimension under the column section. Now I would like to keep this region dimension as row. So I will go back and drag and drop it under the rows section. Now let's apply a new dimension to this report called device category. It's available here and I want this dimension to appear as a column. So I will drag and drop this dimension under the column section. So now you can see our two dimension, one is region, one is device category. Region appear as a row and device category appear as column. Now if you look at our table you can see the active users metric. Let's remove this metric by clicking on this cross button next to it. Let's add new metric to this report. The first metric that we can add is sessions. Now this metric is not available in the metrics list so we will have to create it. Click on this plus button. Search for sessions. Select it. Click on the apply button. Now this metric is available here but it is still not applied to our report. For that we will have to drag and drop this metric under the values section. So now you can see this metric applied to our report. Let's add another metric to this report called total users. Now this metric is already available to us. Now I can either drag and drop it here or I can simply double click it. When you double click on a metric name you can quickly apply it to your report without doing the drag and drop. So that's the advantage of double clicking. Now you can see our new metric total users here. Let's apply one more metric to this table called conversions. Now since this metric is not available to us we will have to create it. Click on this plus button. Search for conversions. Click on this checkbox. Click on apply. Now double click it to apply it to your report. So that's how you can create and apply dimension and matrix to your report. Now if you want to change the analysis technique used for your report then you can change it from this drop down menu. You can apply cohort analysis, funnel analysis, segment overlap etc. If you want to change the chart type you can change it from here. You can switch to pie chart, line chart, scatter plot, bar chart, geo maps. If you want to add a custom segment you can drag and drop it a custom segment from here. You can apply up to four segments to your report. Under the rows section you can drag and drop dimensions which you want to appear as rows in your table. You can display up to five dimensions as rows in your data table. Now if you want your report to start from the second row you can just change the start row setting to 2. If you want to go back to the previous visualization you can either type 1 here or you can click on this undo button. This undo button act as a back button. So whenever you want to switch back to the previous setting you can just click on it. Now by default you see only 10 rows in your report. If you want to see more than 10 report then you can change the setting from the show rows drop down menu. You can see up to 500 rows in your data table. The next setting is nested rows. Now this setting is going to work only when you have two or more rows in your report. Now we have only one row so let's track this dimension under the row section. Now we have got two rows. Now I can change the nested rows setting to yes. Here you can see the nested rows. Under the column section you can add the dimensions which you want to appear as column in your report. You can display up to two dimension as column in your report. Now let's talk about column group. So this is the first column group. It is made up of three columns. Sessions, total users, conversion. This is the second column group. Again it is made up of three columns. Then this is the third column group and this is the fourth column group. If you want to start your report from the second column group you can change the setting from this start column group. Change it to 2. 
Now you can see that your report starts from the second column group. By default, your report shows only five column groups. If you want to see more than five, then you can change the setting from the show column group. You can see up to 20 column groups in your report. Value section is used to add metrics to your report. You can add up to 10 metrics to your report. The cell type setting is used to change how a metric value looks in your report. So right now your metric value is displayed as a bar chart. You can change it to plain text. So now your metric value display as a plain text. You can change it to heat maps. Now let's talk about filters. Let us suppose I do not want to see this not set data in my data table. So I will have to create a new filter which will include the not set data. To create a new filter, click on this box under the filter section. Select region. Select match type to does not exactly match. Now type your expression. You can either type your expression or you can select it from the drop down menu. So let's select not set. Click on apply button. Now my report will not include any data from not set. Now let us suppose I want to see data only from United States. Right now this data table is showing me data from all over the world. For that I will have to create a second filter which will include only the data from United States. To create another filter click on this box under the filter section. Click on country. Select match type to exactly matches. Enter your expression or select it from the drop down menu. So let's select United States. Click on apply button. Now our report includes only the data from United States. So that's how you can create an apply filter to your exploration report. There is one more thing about filter which you must remember and that is when you create two or more filters then they use the end logic. So both of these filters must evaluate to true for the data to display in your report. If one of the filter does not evaluate then you are not going to see the data in your report. Now let's apply a segment to this report called organic search traffic. If you look at the segment list, this segment is not available so we will have to create it. Click on this plus button. Click on user segment. Name your segment. Define the condition. So we select this dimension user acquired campaign medium. Exactly matches. Organic. Click on the save and apply button. Once you click on this button, this new segment will be created and automatically applied to your report. So you can see this new segment listed here and it is also applied here. Now once you create and apply a segment to your report, you see a new setting called pivot, which is used to define how a segment should be displayed in your report. Right now our segment is displayed as first column. If you want your segment to be displayed as first row, then you click on first row. Now you can see your segment displayed as first row. If you want your segment to be displayed as last row, then select last row. If you want your segment to be displayed as last column, then select last column. Now let's create and apply another segment to this report called direct traffic. Now if you look at this segment list, direct traffic is already available to us so we don't have to create it. I will just double click on it and it will automatically be applied to my report. Here you can see a segment organic search traffic, direct traffic. Now let us suppose you want to see data only from California. To do that right click on California and click on include only selection. So now your report will show data only from California. To go back to the previous visualization, just click on this undo button. And if you want to see data only from California, then you can click on this redo button. Now let us suppose you want to see data which exclude California. To do that, right click on California, click on exclude selection. Now your report will show data from all the regions except California. If you want to create a new segment based on California, then right click on it and then click on create segment from selection. If you want to create a new audience from this segment, then click on this build an audience checkbox, select your membership duration and then you click on this save button. 
if you want to analyze the users from California, then right click on it and then click on view users. Once you click on view users, a new tab will open, which is the user explorer report. Through this tab, you can analyze the activities of various users in great detail. Now, if you want to download this report, then you can click on this download button and then you can download your report as Google Sheets, TSV, CSV, PDF. If you want to download all the tabs of your report, then you select PDF or tabs. If you want to share your report, then you can click on this share analysis button. And this screen checkbox simply means that your report is not sampled. If your report is based on more than 10 million events, then it is going to be sampled. If you want to navigate back to the home page of the analysis hub, then you can click on this arrow button. So that's how you can create and use exploration report in Google Analytics 4.